Hi, my name is Bill Hurd. I'm a Scotty Cameron collector. I also sell some Scotty items on eBay. And uh, those of you that know me uh, know that I'm really crazy about Scotty's new Deluxe Circle T weights. Uh, I have sold some. I have also installed some in uh, one of my putters. Um, super cool weights. They only come with a couple of uh, particular tour putters in the Futura uh, series. And one of the downsides is Scotty does not make a wrench publicly available for these, uh, for these weights. Uh, well, I've got actually, I've developed a wrench. I've done some plastic ones in the past, had some problems with those, so I had to come up with a stainless steel version. Um, and honestly, this all started because I wanted a, a set of these in my, in my tour putter. Uh, I've had them in there for a while, really love them. But I want to show uh, everyone uh, the new wrench that I have because it's actually pretty slick. It's stainless steel. Uh, fits two different size um, sockets. It'll fit a 19 millimeter socket. It also fits a three quarter inch socket pretty equally. Um, the thing about these weights is you don't really need to torque them very much. They don't have a, um, an O-ring on them, so you don't have that resistance when you're putting them in a putter. So the, the key is kind of to get it hand tight and then take it the rest of the way with the wrench. So I've got a couple of weights here. I've got a putter. I'm going to drop these in real quick and uh, just show you how it works. So first I'll drop the weight in, get the wrench, and this is where you just want to kind of use finger tight. And this obviously it's in there crooked. You don't want to torque it in that way. Kind of back it up a little bit until it flattens out. And you'll see that the tines on this wrench aren't terribly long. I was having a problem with them breaking, so I made them nice and short, and that also gives you a little bit of a limit to the torque that you can put on these. So if I can just get this guy straightened out here, there we go. I will take it here, get it started with your hands, make sure it's on the right track. You don't want to cross thread these. That's going in pretty good. There, and then all you need to do is pick either 19 millimeter or 3 quarter, not even sure which one this is. And then just give it just a little bit of a torque there. You'll see you don't need very much here. You want to keep pressure down so that it doesn't pop out. Nice little hand tight there, a little bit more. I'm not, you notice I'm not out at the end of the wrench. You don't want to over torque these, and that will stay in there plenty good, and you're all set, and you've got a unique looking putter that probably nobody else in your foursome or even at your club uh, has anything like. So, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions, uh, contact me on eBay where my user ID is WHERD or right here on YouTube. Thanks a lot.